everybody, it's Jake, Abe, and Richie with Sonic Dad. And with today's episode, we wanted to first do a quick shout out to Rickard Erickson, who on Instagram posted some of these pictures and a video about the project number 56, I think it was, the micro crossbow, but with a few of the enhancements based off of the collaboration that we did with Grant Thompson, the King of Random, last year. So yeah. really well done. We love seeing the pictures, the videos that you guys submit. So send them to us here at this email address or post them on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll get you featured here on the channel. Now, let's get on to the episode. Hi, it's Richie and Abe in the Sonic Dad Studios. We're here to bring you another preview of the next project to come out this month. I was up all night long working on this one. I hope you like it. Well, yeah. <laughs> so uh, we've done several rocket projects and it's summer, rockets are fun, and uh, paper rockets are really popular. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to, uh, to come up with kind of a, my own version of a paper rocket. See what we could do? A sonic. A sonic version. version. Yeah. So here we have the pneumatic launcher and it is of course made out of PVC. Um, you've got the uh, air fitting there, trader valve. So you hook a bike pump to that to charge it up and then this is the valve that you actuate to fire the rocket. And this is the launch tube right here. So it has an adjustable angle. And uh, for the, the launch tube, I'm actually using a piece of water line that would go to a toilet. This is a quarter inch, so it's three eighths inch outside diameter. Really cheap, you can get uh, a piece about this long for a buck and a half at your, uh, your local home improvement center. Or if you're visiting your folks or you're, you're at a friend's house and you happen to be near their toilet, you can acquire <laughs> some like that as well. At no charge. So do let's that. see. <laughs> Here are the rockets. This project will come with four different designs. And I will set them out here. You can also build these little uh, display stands to display your rockets. So they are made out of paper. So you'll print a, uh, a template like this, cut it out, make a wrapping mandrel. This, of course, is made from the same uh, pipe material and put a couple of strips of uh, clear tape on there to space it out a little bit and then you wrap the paper around after you cut it and use some glue stick on it to hold it all together and you end up with a, a very stiff and tough paper tube like that that's got a cool graphic on it. And then what I do is I add a piece of clear tape, two pieces of clear tape all the way around the, the outside of it to make it a little tougher. Then the, the template also comes with the fins and uh, so you cut those out, glue them on the rocket body. And uh, so that would just slide on the launch tube, pressurize it, actuate the valve, and off it goes. So, you know, uh, online when you see people shooting off paper rockets, they don't measure it in height. Well, I don't know a good way to measure it in height. <laughs> the, way, the way I measure it is how long the total flight is. Yep, so up, down. So most people are about five seconds. Well, the average five, six-ish. And, this and the one, sonic rocket is 45 minutes. <laughs> it's amazing. It will come back eventually. But um, we've had flights of seven. Seven seconds, seconds so yeah. Flight's pretty high. So let's We're see. We're guessing maybe uh, 100 feet? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. It's either 100 or 1,000 feet. <laughs> We're just uncertain. They're a little too small to put altimeters on them. So you might notice this little guy right here. This is uh, a scaled down version of the randomizer. Um, this was a uh, collaboration we did with Grant Thompson a few projects ago, and I thought it would be fun, since I'm doing the paper rockets, to do a scaled down version of that one. So um, the, uh, the nose cones are made out of uh, just foam earplugs. <laughs> so they're nice and soft. They're not going to dent a car or hurt somebody on the way down. Because this angles, <laughs> right? You can. Yeah, mostly you want to shoot it. Oh, sorry. More or less up. Up, right? Right. So that, that actually is, would. I mean, that could cause. That could hurt you. Yeah. 
Yeah, wouldn't recommend that. Shoot it up. It's a rocket, not a missile. That's right. Yeah. It's not a surface. Ooh, that's surface. the next one. The I'm sonic cool. missile. Yeah. That'd be great with an exploding tip, right? Yeah, with like a wrist, <laughs> like a wrist mount launcher. Oh. Yeah, that'd be cool. So this is project number 73, the sonic paper rocket. It's going to be a skill level five and take about three hours to build. It's made from PVC fittings and uh, a paper template and some earplugs for the nose cone. And there's some clear tape and some other odds and ends in there. So I uh, hope you enjoy building it. This was a lot of fun to develop and put together and uh, perfect for this time of year. So go launch some rockets, have some fun. Up and as always, only up in the air. Yeah, don't, no sonic missiles yet. Yeah. Coming, maybe. So as always, uh, we'd love to see your videos and your photos. Send them in and we'll do everything we can to highlight them in one of our, one of our episodes. We love that. Yep, yeah, cool. So until next time, I'm Richie. I'm Abe. Now it's your turn to go make something cool. See you next time. See you later. So this is project number 73, the Sonic Paper Rock. What the heck is this thing called? Sonic Paper Rock. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. So this is project number 73, the Sonic Paper Rocket. Hey, if you like what we're doing, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel or click here to go to our website. Thank you.